Hello there, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is one that is inspired by all of your many questions and comments over the last several months, especially, but I've had these questions kind of randomly throughout the last year as well. And those are questions surrounding my makeup collection. Many of you are like, please show us your whole makeup collection. And then several of you have been asking about things that you see in the background, like this amazing lipstick holder or these cabinets behind me. You wanna know where they're from. Are they all full of makeup? And then several of you have seen this palette holder. You're like, what is that? Where do I find that? So I'm going to take you through kind of an overview of my storage. And as I do, I'm gonna show you some of my collection. Yes, I own way more makeup than any one person should ever own. That is a fact. But keep in mind, not only is makeup a hobby something I love to do and have loved to do for years, but with YouTube, it is part of my job. And part of that job is I purchase a lot of this makeup myself. Some gets sent to me. I love receiving it as gifts, but most of it I purchase and it is specifically to review and give you an idea of whether it's a product you should invest your hard earned money in or not. So in a way, my collection is meant to help you all save money and I wanna save you frustration. But I promise I'm not going to take you through every single item but it is going to look kind of like you've gone to Sephora and you're looking at all this fun stuff. So let's look at it that way. It's just a fun little glimpse of different things and you're gonna see things that are brand new that you've never seen yet on my channel. You're also gonna see limited edition products that maybe some of you are like, oh yeah, I remember that palette. So let's just look at it that way and just have a little fun. But I also want this to be helpful. So those of you who are looking for ideas and ways to store makeup, that's the other purpose of this video. Now, the other aspect of this is I have mentioned just casually in some videos about how I just pulled out my fall palettes or I haven't pulled out my summer palettes yet or whatever. And several of you picked up on that. You are quick. And you said, wait, what does that mean? How do you decide what you put away or why do you put makeup away? So let me just give you a brief explanation Then I'm gonna show you my process of pulling out my fall winter makeup. And so basically it's the same concept if you live in an area that has kind of four seasons and you put away some of your winter clothes or your summer clothes, depending on the season. Well, a number of years ago, even before I started YouTube, I started doing that with my makeup and it was so much fun. I did it first of all, because I didn't want to take over any more space in my drawers that I had at that time. And it's still the reason why I do it because I don't want to take over any more space than I already have done. But also it is because I feel like when there is so much out and so much in front of me, it's kind of like it just becomes a big mass and I don't see the amazing fun palettes that I have. And when that season comes rolling around again, I get to pull out favorite palettes that I forgot about or whatever. So that is what we're going to be doing today. We're going to start off with that seasonal change of makeup. Then I'm going to take you on kind of somewhat of a quick tour. I hope it's a quick tour of my desk area here of what's behind me, what is in this corner that you never see. So I'm going to give you a glimpse of all of that and anything that's available. I do buy a lot of things either on Amazon or home goods or whatever, but anything that I can find that is available, I will list and link in the description box below, along with the company's link for the website for Best Craft Organizer, where I got my desk and the cabinet and all of that good stuff. So be sure you check the description box below for links to shop. So let's get started with my seasonal rotation of makeup and see what I found in my fall and winter boxes. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm just gonna give you an overview of what you're looking at here. Then I'll sort through everything and then show you kind of the after. Basically, I have just this wire mesh basket that I think I got at Target. 
And then I have two of these photo boxes. These are just good and sturdy and you can get these on sale for usually just a couple of dollars, but they're so nice and sturdy. They can handle quite a bit of weight. Um, there is my little Bojo. <laughs> he always gets interested whenever I sit down on the floor and that's why I'm doing this. So I'm gonna go ahead and sort through everything and then I'll talk, I'll come back and show you what we're looking at here. in this pink basket and what's still in there. So I have some of my fall winter eyeshadow palettes. Oh, hello there, Bojo. Yeah, you wanna know about that too? Mm -hmm. In here, uh, you're going to see lots of foundations. I even noticed several foundations that I had forgotten that I have in my collection. There's several brands and formulas that I do not have in my summer formula because uh, several of these are a lot more glowy, more moisturizing, things that don't work on my skin in the summertime but that I really enjoy in the winter. All right, let's dig into these boxes. to call it quits for today. The next step for me personally is I like to then go to my drawers and pull out all of my summer and spring items like the bronzers that are going to be too dark for me in the winter. Hi Bojo. All the blushes that will be too bright for me in the winter etc. And then I will put all of these items in my drawers and put my spring and summer items in these now empty boxes and then I will show you the finished result. Is that about all you can handle for today? Is that about enough makeup, huh? Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna go through these boxes and this basket, but I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of the things that I put away for fall and winter. Basically, I mean, the foundations are pretty self-explanatory, but these colors that are just too deep for me, for my winter skin, there's no point in having them out, just taking up space in my collection during the winter. And then over here for eyeshadow palettes, it's not that you can't wear these colors during the winter time, but I just like to rotate out ones that maybe make me just think about summer and spring, like these mint green colors or um, even just the kind of themes of the palettes themselves, like this one from Too Faced. 
they just make me think spring, summer, and they're just ones that I typically don't grab for or reach for too much during the winter time. And then as far as blushes go, typically colors like this, I don't wear a whole lot in the winter time. Again, they just make me think more of spring, summer. Um, my deeper, darker bronzers that are just too dark for my pale skin. Some highlighters that again are just a little too dark when I'm not using a deeper foundation or sunless tanner. So that is just kind of a brief overview of what is getting put away from my collection for the fall and the winter. Okay, let's begin the tour with just an overview. I'm just gonna show you kind of what's in the corner and what is off to the left and what's on my desk and then we'll come back and I'll talk about specific organizational products. So this window and this rolling cabinet is off to my left as I am normally filming and I have lots of goodies stashed away in there. And then on my desk area, I have face brushes off to the left with lip liners. I have my mirror. I have a brush container um, that has mostly eye brushes that I use on a daily basis. And then I have my eyeliners off to the right and then this palette holder for kind of my current go-to palettes that I like to be using. And so the off to the left, my mirror there, I get a lot of questions about this. This is from Amazon, I'll list it down below. I love this mirror, it travels well. The only thing is it's quite short. And so I always pull over this jewelry box to set it on so I can do my makeup. So that's the only drawback, but it does have the ability, you can light it you plug it in with a USB cord. It has magnified mirrors on the left panel, a full regular mirror in the center, and then another mirror on the right. Off to the right of my desk, I have this shelf organizer that was from Amazon. Again, it was just kind of a, it was with a computer riser, so very inexpensive, but I found it very useful. I like to organize palettes kind of by brand, so you can see I have a lot of Too Faced shadow palettes there. Anastasia Beverly Hills, Urban Decay, and then on top I have this beautiful Aspen Ovard palette that I will keep forever, even long past its expiration, because I just think it is so beautiful. Now behind me, as what you see while I'm filming is this, it's actually just a letter kind of organizer or file organizer for the desk. I got this at Marshalls or Home Goods. That is a great place to check for organizational things, check the office area. But I like to store some palettes so you can see I have the larger Huda Beauty palettes here in the front. And then behind it is a great space for some of those bigger palettes. So I have the ColourPop Stone Cold Fox, the Bare Necessities palettes. These are just kind of large and take up too much space in a drawer. So I like to keep these out. Also the Dominique Transitions palette, my Charlotte Tilbury, Urban Decay, Too Faced Teddy Bear palette. And then we move to the best lipstick holder. This was inexpensive. It is kind of a clear plastic, but it is on a kind of lazy Susan. You can roll it around and you can choose your lipstick. I absolutely love this. It holds 64 lipsticks. Yes, I know some of you are doing the math going, holy moly, that's a lot of lipstick. It is, but I love this. I think going vertical is a a great thing if you're short on space. Now, as you can see, the lipsticks are held at a slight angle and that's what keeps them in place so they don't fall out. You can fit pretty good size lipsticks like these from It Cosmetics, but the depth on those side holders is kind of short. So the BK Beauty lipsticks, they will fit, but they do protrude out the side quite a bit. So I much prefer putting those on the top. Now lip glosses do not work on the side here unless they're shorter, like the MAC lip glasses would work, but these do store well on the top. So if you wanted to put lip glosses on the top there and lipsticks around the edge or lip balms, but there's also another option, this lipstick holder or lip gloss holder, this is where I put a lot of my lip glosses and some lipsticks that I like to use on a regular basis. This holds 40 lipsticks or lip glosses. And again, it's 
pretty good size, pretty generous proportions for each of the slots. So you can fit like the Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. I love to put my buxom lip glosses up here. Those fit well, but there are a couple of lipsticks that might be just a little too large to fit. Also on top here, I have my It Cosmetics It Girl Beauty Books. I have three of them. I did not purchase the one from this year. I restrained myself. And then I have, these are mostly clean brushes. I know, how many brushes does a girl need? A lot. <laughs> so I have lots of face brushes, but I also like to store some of my smaller eye brushes and liner brushes there. I have my Charlotte Tilbury palettes. And then this cabinet, for the most part, is just music. So I store all my piano music. There are a few odds and ends things on the top shelf, but I'm not gonna show you that. Now this corner cabinet comes from Best Craft Organizer. And so this is the same company that my desk and my cabinet behind me is made out of. I love it. You can customize the size of drawers that you want. So I chose a one inch drawer for uh, three two inch drawers and then one three inch drawer. And you can change them out, you can reorder them. They're very easy to do. And then I just use these stickers and hand wrote labels. So I just like to know what's in each drawer. It helps me kind of move through my morning quicker. So I have liquid lipsticks, lipsticks and lip glosses. So this is my liquid lipstick drawer and you can see a one inch drawer. I love it because it keeps everything pretty much on one level. So it does help you see everything more clearly and it also helps me kind of clean out more often as well. Here's my extra lipsticks, lipstick drawer. And the organizers off to the left are also from Best Craft Organizer. They are drawer inserts. They're real thin plastic, but they're super inexpensive. And then you'll see that clear plastic um, bin to the right. I have several of those from Amazon. This is my lip gloss drawer. It's time for a clean out because I have a double decker here and that's not good. So I have MAC lip glasses. I have Anastasia Beverly Hills gloss. Glosses. I have off to the left my Maybelline um, lifter glosses, the Fenty Beauty glosses. So again, I kind of like to group them according to the brand. Um, and then I do prefer to try and keep everything on one level so I can see what I have. The bottom two drawers are what is new. <laughs> These are products that there are so many in here from BoxyCharm, the Boxy Pop-Up, um, they might be some new things that were sent to me or that I'm testing out for you all, extra mascaras. So yeah, these drawers are fun and um, they're just items that I need to get to. Now on this little rolling cabinet here is this jewelry organizer. I've used this for years. I love to put my foundations that I'm using on a regular basis. Over to the left, I've got this new one from Dior that I'm trying but I like to have my foundation standing up. So my Bare Minerals, Bare Pro, the KVD, the Estee Lauder. And then in the center section, I have liquid highlighters and a few eye care products. And then behind it, I do have a few um, face primers and, um, and then off to the left, I have a couple of setting sprays and then off to the left of that, I have some foundation mixers. So this is kind of the tray of things that I need kind of easily accessible on a daily basis. Now this cabinet that that is sitting on is also from Best Craft Organizer. And again, you can customize what you want. So I love these one inch drawers because I bought this when I was doing a lot of Bare Minerals eyeshadows. So I'll show you that in a moment. But what I've recently done is gone through and I reorganized and I labeled all these drawers. And so I reduced the number of one inch drawers because I felt like I needed a little more space. So these one inch drawers, the top couple, you can see those eyeshadows fit perfectly on a single layer. Then I can open it up and see exactly what's in there. I've got my Charlotte Tilbury, my Hourglass Scattered Light, the ColourPop Super Shock. And then I also did my contour bronzer palettes in one drawer and I can fit um, two. Usually I can kind of stack two different palettes, but I like to be able to see what's underneath. 
Then the next drawer is contours and bronzers and I have a mix. Oh, there's Bojo saying hello. <laughs> He was really into this whole project, by the way. So then I have a mixture of cream contours, cream bronzers, as well as the powders. And again, I like to try and stack them so I can see what's underneath. Next drawer, these are powder blushes. And you can kind of see I like to group them again by brand. I just, that's pleasing to my eye. And I usually can keep track of what I have this way a little better. So in the front, I have some of these Persona blushes and I like to have them on their side. I can easily pull them out. I have MAC blushes here. So again, I can pull them out and see what color it is. Um, I've got my Charlotte Tilbury Tarte blushes. And then in the back, that's the only thing about these drawers is you cannot pull them all the way out without actually removing the drawer from the cabinet. So um, I try not to put anything back there that I need to reach for on a daily basis. But um, the next drawer down is my cream blush drawer. And in the back, I have a couple of blush palettes, but in the front here, I've got cream and liquid blushes. That's hard for me to say. Then I have my face palette drawer. So these palettes have blushes and like a bronzer or and highlighter. I've got my Hourglass, my new Hourglass, my By Terry, and then Natasha Denona. I've got my Jaclyn Hill. That's the blush and bronzer palette. And then below that, Wayne Goss. Off to the right is, I think, the Hourglass palette from two years ago. And then I have the um, Benefit Foroscope palette. So again, I this is just kind of how my brain thinks. If I'm looking for something, this is kind of how I like to have it organized. And then the next drawer is face palette or face powders. I know that's a lot, face and eye powders. So if you saw my concealer video, you know I have separate powders that I use under my eyes. And then I have um, the front setting powders are my main ones I use to set the rest of my face. So I like to keep those up front and then usually a powder puff or two. Next is my powder highlight drawer. So I brought in all of my winter highlight shades. So I have those in here and there's plenty of space so I can move things around, see what is below something that may be stacked on top of it. And the final drawer on this little caddy is what I'm calling my face and eye palette drawer. Now there is this one random eyeshadow palette and then there's one kind of face palette, that's the Smashbox one, but um, a face and eye palette is something that has shadows and blushes in it. So this new one from Buxom, I barely got into before I put it away, so I can't wait to dig back into this one. And then I have the Charlotte Tilbury face, I think it's called Full Face Palette. And then um, I have this Pixie face and eye palette. Off to the right, I have these Tarte palettes. So just a another way that I like to keep those kind of separated from my standard eyeshadow palettes. Now, what is behind me, this huge cabinet? No, it is not all filled with makeup. Don't worry, I'll show you. There are only, I know only, three one inch drawers on this right side that have makeup in them. And then just two here in the center that are makeup related. And this top one isn't even makeup. It's things like tissues. I have these blotting sheets. I have my metal palettes that I use to put foundation on. I have some makeup remover wipes. So I just like to keep this handy. The drawer below it is my Tarte palette drawer. I do have a couple of other Tarte palettes, but this is, I just love how these palettes look. And that's the other thing is I organize things. I like it to look pleasing when I open it up. It makes it enticing. And then on the right, this drawer has my Viseart palette, my BK Beauty, Charlotte Tilbury, Lorac, the one above it and the top one. These are my two favorite most used drawers. These are Natasha Denona. So these are the midi palettes. I do have two of her full size ones in here as well. I have the new face glam palette. And so I like these because even though they're stacked, I can tell what is underneath. And then the top drawer, I love this drawer with my mini Natasha Denona palettes and then two larger ones there in the back. 
Then as we go to my desk, again, not all of these drawers have makeup in them. On this left side, I just have three. I know just three, starting with the bottom one. This is more tool related. So this is where I keep those dual ended brushes that you're like, how do I store these? I just have this kind of cardboard lid that came on a box that I put in here and it holds those brushes, my eyelash curler, my pencil sharpeners, um, you'll see in the back there, I have kind of some false lashes. I use these uh, if I'm doing somebody else's makeup. I like to have those on hand. Scotch tape, you know, mini travel size powders, just kind of some odds and ends things. And then the drawer above it are my Makeup Geek shadows. And this is where I like to keep actually all of my individual shadows and my shadow sticks, my cream eyeshadow sticks and a couple of Charlotte Tilbury cream shadows, these Kaja eyeshadow stacks. Again, I can see each one of those. They're not kind of buried under things and then more cream shadow sticks. Under these Makeup Geek palettes, I have my ColourPop single shadows, my MAC single shadows, and then in the back is more Makeup Geek. And then this top drawer, if you saw my concealer video, you've already seen this massive collection of concealers. I was going through and trying to try as many brands as possible. So I'm gonna be decluttering this drawer very soon. But that just gives you an idea of how many products I test out for one particular video. Now on the right side, I have four drawers that have some odds and ends. So this drawer is more so my drugstore eyeshadow palettes. Um, as you can see, I've got Maybelline, Catrice, I have Ace Beauty, and then I have Juvia's Place. But then on the left side, I have Sydney Grace, this uh, Violet Voss, one of my favorite palettes, the LA Girl Pro Palette. The next drawer up also has eyeshadow palettes, and this is kind of a mix. I have a couple of Tarte palettes that don't fit in the drawer behind me. And then I have the smaller Nine Pan Huda Beauty palettes, so the Haze palettes, I have two of those and the Obsessions palettes. And then I have the three um, Nude Obsessions palettes as well. So I, I know these are here even though they're stacked on top of each other. If I want something, I know where to go to get it. Behind it, I have three of the smaller Sigma Beauty palettes. I got these in right before summer and I'm kind of just bring in a couple of these back out for winter. So you'll probably see these appear soon in a video. And then I have a couple Smashbox palettes and then these two Tartlet palettes. Um, just needed a space for those. And then the drawer above, oh goodness, I have some loose pigments. And then I have my liquid eyeliners here on the left. Those need to be stored horizontally. And then in the front here, I have a couple of kind of sample mascaras, new mascaras I've not tested. And then behind it are the open mascaras. So I like to keep those separated so I know what has been used and what I need to work through in a certain amount of time. This is another drawer. I don't know what it is about these top drawers, but this needs some decluttering. So in the center, I have all of my brow products. Oh my goodness. And then off to the right, I have all of these eyeshadow primers. Again, I am working on a video for that. And then I have these kind of larger lip balms kind of to prep my lips. So this one from Emile Cordon and so fancy, love this. And then behind it, I have the Laneige. Um, one that I like to use during the day as I'm putting on my makeup and a couple of other chapstick type products. So this is where I like to store these kind of bigger items. Now, what is in the rest of these drawers behind me? Well, I have stamps on this one column here. I have all my scrapbooking and stamping supplies all down there. So, you know, punches. I mean, there are a lot of tools and things necessary when you do crafts. These other two columns have my beads and jewelry items that are still left from when I had my jewelry business. So you can see these individual little compartments here. This is also from Best Craft Organizer, and it allows me to separate each stone, each color, um, these tiny little beads. I mean, if you are a jewelry maker, you know how many little components there are 
And these little inserts, again, they're just thin plastic inserts, but they're very inexpensive and they are made specifically for these drawers, but it allows you to separate everything by color or by stone or however you wish. The one inch drawers also have these little compartments. This is perfect for those tiny little Swarovski crystals and tiny little beads. So now you know what is in the rest of the drawers in this cabinet and my desk. All right. That wraps up this tour and this makeup collection overview. I hope that it was fun for you. And for those of you who have been curious about what's in my collection or how I store things, hopefully it was helpful. As I mentioned earlier, anything, anything organizationally that I can find still available, I will list it and link it in the description box below. Thank you as always so much for being here, for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful day. Bye.